Josh Hartnett gained recognition in the 1990s and early 2000s for his roles in several successful films. He rose to fame as Jamie Lee Curtis's fictional son in Halloween H20, 20 years later. He became a Hollywood heartthrob from his performance as Trip Fontaine in The Virgin Suicides before appearing in blockbusters Pearl Harbor and Black Hawk Down. Despite a career spanning more than two decades, there are several things you probably didn't know about the actor. So, here are 10 facts about Josh Hartnett. He owes his career to a busted knee. Josh Hartnett's acting career was sparked by an unexpected turn of events. After suffering a knee injury that ended his high school football career, his aunt encouraged him to explore theater. He took on the role of Huckleberry Finn in a local production of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, which ignited his passion for acting. This unexpected setback ultimately led him to pursue a career in the performing arts. He was caught supposedly robbing a Dairy Queen. When Hartnett was 16 years old, he and his friends made a short film about a Dairy Queen robbery near his home, in which he also acted. His performance was so convincing that a concerned neighbor called the police, mistaking it for a real robbery. This incident showcases his early talent for acting and foreshadows his future success in the film industry. He improvised his character in Wrath of Man. He had a unique experience working on Guy Ritchie's action thriller, Wrath of Man, where he played the character Boy Sweat Dave. Initially, Dave had a small role in the script, but when the original actor dropped out, Ritchie reached out to Hartnett in desperation since he lived close to the filming location. He told Cinema Blend, Guy called me the day he started filming. He knew I was in England, and he said could you come up to London. I've got this part I want you to think about and consider. It's not in the script, but we'll make it up as we go along. What do you think? I was like, that sounds like a really interesting challenge. I love Guy Ritchie's movies. I want to see where this goes, let's do it. He was originally cast as the lead in Brokeback Mountain. Hartnett revealed that he had to turn down the opportunity to star in Brokeback Mountain due to scheduling conflicts with another film he was contractually obligated to do, The Black Dahlia. Despite his interest in the role, he had to drop out, and the film went on to feature Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal. He told News.com.au, it was a different film altogether, it was me and Joaquin Phoenix. I've always wanted to kiss Joaquin, so that's my biggest regret. He almost turned down Pearl Harbor. His role as Danny Walker in the 2001 movie Pearl Harbor was highly acclaimed, but it was almost not meant to be. The actor initially hesitated to take the role. He told The Guardian, I was happy with the amount of fame I had and the types of roles I was getting. At the same time, I asked myself, am I just afraid that by doing Pearl Harbor, I'm going to enter a new category of filmmaking that I might not be ready for? I ultimately chose to do it because turning it down would have been based on fear. Then it defined me, which means I was right to fear it. Although Pearl Harbor was considered a flop, his performance in the movie was praised by critics and audiences alike, and it remains one of his most memorable roles to date. He took a break. Following his success with Pearl Harbor and Black Hawk Down, Hartnett became overwhelmed by the intense media attention he received. He told people that he had too much too soon and needed a break from Hollywood life. He told details, I didn't trust anyone. So I went back to Minnesota and got back together with my old friends, ended up getting back together with my high school girlfriend for a while, and I didn't do any filming for 18 months. After returning to the film industry, he found himself fighting for roles in a way he didn't have to before. But he considered this a good thing. He said, I still get offered films and TV roles, luckily, but years ago, if I saw a role I wanted, there was a good chance I could grab it. When I see a role now, I've got to fight for it. It's not bad. It's actually more rewarding. Depressing when something doesn't go your way, but only for a minute. He is still working regularly, but not at the level of, as Variety put it, the next Leonardo DiCaprio or Matt Damon. The roles he almost had. Josh Hartnett missed out on several notable roles in his career. He auditioned multiple times for Dawson's Creek but failed to secure a role on the hit teen show. He was also passed over for a part in Remember the Titans. Regarding superhero movies, many rumors swirled around that he turned down Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man. Hartnett clarified that he didn't turn down the role of Spider-Man, but he did decline an offer to play Superman, which would have included a three-movie deal worth a reported $100 million. He also had a conversation with Christopher Nolan about Batman, but never auditioned or received an offer for the role that ultimately went to Christian Bale. His Other Talents 
In addition to his acting career, Hartnett has explored his creativity behind the scenes. He sold his first script at the age of 22, but it didn't progress much in the industry. However, this sparked his passion for writing, and over a span of three years, he wrote three different screenplays. While focusing on starting a family, he took a break from his career, but found unexpected time to pursue his writing. He has also dabbled in directing music videos and expressed interest in directing films if he feels passionate about the story. Additionally, he became a producer to have more creative control and work on smaller, independent projects. He gave up vegetarianism for film. Hartnett made a conscious decision to become a vegetarian at the age of 12 after a disturbing incident while cutting up a chicken for his mom, which involved encountering a tumor. He told PETA, One day I was cutting up a chicken for my mom and I hit a tumor with the knife. There was pus and blood all over the place. That was enough for me. However, he started eating meat again while filming for the movie The Black Dahlia because the long days and cigarettes did a number on his health. He told Hollywood.com, I actually started eating meat while I was there because the Bulgarian doctor didn't know what else to do with me. He challenged taking off his shirt in films because he didn't like his body. Despite being considered a heartthrob and sex symbol in Hollywood, he has been reluctant to show off his body on camera. He has expressed discomfort with the idea as he doesn't believe he has a good body. He told Interview, I'm not comfortable with it yet, but we'll see. Some people have this meat market mentality, so you've got to take your shirt off because it will bring girls into the theater. When that comes up on set, I challenge it. However, he is open to nudity if it serves a purpose in the story or if it contributes to the humor or characterization of the role. He prefers nudity to be meaningful and driven by character rather than for mere titillation.